2025, the year humanoid robots took over the headlines. We've got Atlas showing off parkour, Tesla bot learning to fold your laundry, and a bunch of other bots stealing the spotlight. They're all highly mobile, with natural gates and amazing AI. But there's a catch. Atlas? Expected at 80 to 120K. Tesla bot? Around 20K. Not exactly affordable. And then enters China. China because China, 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 China. You know how it goes. When the world's busy making expensive things, China steps in and says, wait, what if we make it cheap? Meet Unitree R1, a humanoid robot for under $6,000. Yep, you heard that right. Is it revolutionary? Does it change everything? Well, yes and kind of no. Welcome to Robo Fantastic. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and drop a like because today we're breaking down why the Unitree R1 is making waves in 2025 and whether it's actually worth the hype. Okay, so here's the thing about humanoid robots. Actuators equals money. The more actuators you have and the better they are at speed, torque, and fine control, the more expensive your robot becomes. And let's not forget harmonic drives. These magical, ultra-precise gear systems are basically the Gucci bags of robotics. Expensive. So how did Unitree get the R1 down to $6,000? Simple. Fewer actuators. Cheaper actuators. And the design optimized for acrobatics instead of full human mimicry. Look at the hands. No fancy 11-fingered grasping systems here. Just basic paddles. Compared to Unitree G1, Atlas, or Tesla bot, our one has fewer joints and less natural motion. But hey, for 26 degrees of freedom at this price, it's actually pretty impressive. And here's where one really shines. Acrobatics. This little guy can sprint, cartwheel, handstand, and even shadow box. The first demo video looked so insane that people online were like, wait, is this CGI? Nope, it's real. R1 is built as a sports robot, a platform to showcase dynamic movement, not a household butler. It's also lightweight, around 25 kilograms and 121 centimeters tall, which makes all those flips a lot safer for both you and your furniture. Here's a quick spec rundown. 26 degrees of freedom, 6 per leg, 5 per arm, 2 in the waist, 2 in the head. Swappable 1-hour battery. Onboard AI with voice and image recognition. 8-core CPU with an optional NVIDIA Jetson Orin for extra AI power. Connectivity, Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. Open SDK for developers and researchers. So yes, it's a legit research robot, not just a toy. Now, let's address the elephant in the room. Can our one do your chores? Nope. It's not here to vacuum your floor or make you breakfast. It's built for research and education, affordable enough for universities and labs, AI training and motion control experiments, performance and entertainment. Think robot stunt shows, competitions, and creative projects. So if you're dreaming of a $6,000 humanoid, made sorry. Not yet. Here's the deal. Atlas, super advanced, natural gate, but $80K, 120K. Tesla bot. Aiming for $20,000, built for useful work. Unitree R1, $6,000, highly acrobatic, but not practical for chores. Basically, R1 is like the parkour enthusiast of the humanoid world. It may not help you move boxes, but it'll backflip over them. So, is the Unitree R1 a game changer? For the price, absolutely. It brings humanoid robotics into a new, more accessible range. But remember... It's not competing with Tesla Bot or Atlas. It's doing its own thing. If you want a humanoid that can cartwheel, dance, and maybe impress your friends at a party, or one might just be your bot. So what do you think? Would you buy a $6,000 humanoid sports robot? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to like and subscribe to RoboFantastic for more fun tech deep dives.